There is the movement of life itself, the movement of creation, and our natural evolution as a species. And that evolution, while it involves our physical being, it also involves consciousness. It is a conscious evolution. It requires our conscious participation. What your world needs most from you is for you to be a son. That is our destiny. That is our future as humanity, is to become a son. To embody on the outside all those qualities of being that are inside us as a creator being. When we're talking about be being conscious, becoming more conscious, individually and as humanity, we're talking about becoming conscious of who we are as a creator so that we can become conscious of what we're creating. We have to accept something into ourselves that is uncommon and in many ways not present in the world in which we live. That shouldn't be a surprise. If we're truly interested in moving forward, wouldn't we have to accept something that isn't around all over the place now? Because if we just keep doing that, we'll just get more of the same, I would think. No, there has to be a new conception within us, not just a stirring of the pot of doing what we're doing now with, as it said, nothing new under the sun. Yeah, it may look new, but it's more of the same in terms of where it's taking us. There has to be something truly new that's conceived in us, a higher wisdom, a knowledge that goes beyond the kind of knowledge that we've been accessing in our arrogance. A kind of knowledge that's in tune with all of creation and with the creator that we are, who is not separate from the creator of all things. Well, there, yes, there's something unique in each of us, but it's a part of the vastness of the wisdom and the power of the creator of all things. How does the new download into that? How do we collectively become a son together? The very word community is similar to the word commune. There has to be a space of communion that we hold in community. We have to learn and know how to hold that space one with another. We have to be able to allow what's happening within that space to be magical. Yes, it's magical in us as an individual. Yes, it's magical between us. And because of the fact that we're holding hands symbolically together. In other words, there's a, a relationship between us that we know how to hold inviolate. Because of that, there is a sphere that's held, and there's a space within it, and something happens within that space that blesses everybody who's holding it. And in the middle of that space, in our common space, life can emerge. Something can be conceived that we're holding together. It's the baby that we're giving birth to the birth of new humanity. It can live in that space. It can be conceived in that space. The Christ, if you will. And our Bethlehem. <laughs>